good people, it's your boy Fusion and we're kind of broken into dark and cold the epicenter of this hip hop coach in the UK looking for an artist on the rise yeah big artist from the stages over here for a minute goes by the name of Cactus we back Cactus right? <laughs> what's happening? what's going on brother? <laughs> welcome to the UK thank you brother there's mad drama getting up in the country man man let me tell you let me let me just start this, this thing off right alright let me just say right now shouts to my man Cavalier back in Brooklyn. If you watching, son, we representing for you right now. We holding you down, right? See what I'm saying? I had to say that. So getting in the country was crazy. Okay. They had me on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Had a brother in the zoo. You know what I'm saying? For about six hours when I got off the plane. But I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? I had the good peoples, my peoples here in London, to break me out. Well, good. You know what I'm saying? With the hour chaos. The whole team, We yeah. had Flavor Flav come out. Chuck D. Nah, I'm just playing. Chuck D. <laughs> S1W's just kicked off the door, man. <laughs> right? The whole movement. So what brings you to the UK? What's going on? Oh, man, I'm, I'm performing out here for uh, Liverpool Sound City. And also for the Hub Festival. And uh, just, you know, seeing the sights, taking it in. Getting a, accustomed to London. Meeting some people. Networking, you know what I'm saying? So I'm um, setting up a lot, of, a lot more, you know, club dates, tour dates and whatnot. The tour goes all the way to the end of the year. Yeah. And I'll probably be back out here before then. Uh, the next stops on the tour is going to be Africa and uh, France. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully we get a chance to come back here before the end of the year. Okay. So we're setting, we we putting the breadcrumbs out. We're throwing seeds at Grandma, you know. <laughs> like that? No, 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 no. So for people who haven't heard the Cactus vibe and what you're bringing, how would you describe what you do musically? Um, like how would you describe what you do? Because I've gone online and yeah. it's not just music that you represent. So. Well, you know, the Cactus brand, mm -hmm. I, should, I was like, y'all like that? I like that. The Cactus brand, it's like Michael Jordan, you know, that's coming okay. strong. Brand. Anyway, the Cactus brand is like... Um, so I'm just picturing this Cactus guy like that right now, but yeah. I should, that's a good idea, brother. I should, I should do that, definitely. I should get that done on something. <laughs> Come in, I'll sit here first. Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway, uh, Cactus brand is... is um, I am, you know, raised in High Point, North Carolina. Yeah. And uh, for me, coming up in High Point, North Carolina, it was a, a, a lot different. It's almost like a culture shock when I started to travel out other places. And I knew that uh, whatever, however I was going to come as a hip hop artist, it needed to represent that type of feeling mm -hmm. and that type of struggle from where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, every hip hop artist, I think, touches on their background, their home, their block, yeah. you know, they represent for their people or whatever. So when I come to the stage, that's who I represent for, is for High Point, North Carolina. Other than that, um, Cactus Tree is a badass motherfucker, okay. right? And uh, <laughs> my music goes from, I call it Carolina Blues. Okay. Uh, it goes from, you know, it's like a gumbo of sound. We, we in Carolina, we fortunate enough to get a lot of music from all over, you know, mm -hmm. rock music, blues, country, hip hop, whatever. Um, so we got a lot of the best uh, of you know music in one area. So I call it Carolina blues, but it, it goes from the extent of maybe you know real heavy blues to real gangster hip hop shit. Mm. You know, in, in a matter of minutes, maybe in the same song. Okay. I think that's maybe what sets my music apart from other artists mm. is the fact that you know other artists they may uh, produce a record and it'll have different genres of music on that album. Yeah. Whereas one song of mine may be three different genres in one. Okay. And the way that you fuse that in with each other to make it make sense in the end, I think is what people get about me. The right. experimentation. So I think my fans love for me to experiment with my music, take mm -hmm. them in different directions. But at the same you know, base of it, they still want that same emotion, that same feeling in it. Mm -hmm. So I think that resonates in whatever I do. Cool. You know what I'm saying? And there was a clip online of a couple of your fans talking. One guy was talking about just locking down the canteen and just like <laughs> MC and going at it, seeing who's the best MC. And they were talking about how much writing you did, that like every year you had like a tome yeah. of just like lyrics, lyrics, and lyrics. So, yeah. how, I mean, as an MC, what inspired you to get into writing bars and getting into the whole, the whole culture? Um, as an mm. MC, I, I had a, 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 a sleepover one time with uh, my cousin and a friend of mine and it just seemed like something for us to do at you know one o'clock in the morning listening to the mix show to write our own rap uh and we tried that out you know my friend he sort of just did it for fun yeah, yeah, yeah. uh and my cousin and i we we sort of took to it and it, it just became a way i just started you know doing it more it became a way for me to 
really uh, release a lot of stuff that I was feeling at the time because mm -hmm. I was an introverted child. I was stayed in my room, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lot, watch cartoons, video games, things yeah, kids yeah, do, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it, it allowed me to break out my shell, you know what I'm saying? And, and to, to sort of uh, create, not even create, I guess shape my personality yeah. growing up as well. So I, I, uh, I became, or not, I guess my music became uh, me, you know what I'm saying, and vice versa. Yeah. Uh, so whereas a lot of people just make music and it don't really sound like they made the music. Mm. Whereas mine, in my music, you get all of me. So your inner world kind of being projected it's, out it's there. Been, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know. So what's happening music at the time? Who are the big artists that you were feeling or inspired by? Mm. When I first started out, it was it was like Dayla, Run DMC, yeah. you know, um, uh, Jay Z, you know, Coogee Rap, Nas. I could go on for days. Yeah. And then outside of hip hop, you know, I grew up underneath my father's uh, stereo and he used to be like a okay. DJ back in the day so he just had a album collection that went around the whole basement you yeah. know and growing up I had you know I was fortunate enough to be listening to Richard Pryor records at the same time okay. listening to Curtis Mayfield records yeah, yeah. those records to me were my popular music like yeah. I wasn't listening to the radio to see or checking for anybody I was yeah. listening to my father's but your dad at this radio right. station is that, he had his own radio out, station yeah. so I grew up yeah. on a lot of soul records I grew up on a lot of um, just you know real good I, I'm not gonna say black music I'm gonna say real good soul music okay. you feel me because it, yeah. it was so much from all over the place it was Afro-Cuban stuff there there was you know oh. Yeah. Um, even stuff from over here in the UK and whatnot, you know. So. Tuesday in Dark and Cold, yeah. Dark and Cold. A lot of UK talent up yeah, here. Joe see Black, it. 1C, Mike GLC. I mean, right. what, what have you seen of the UK scene so far? Uh, you know what? I, I don't know a lot. I, I'm going to say that right now. I'm, I don't, you know, don't please, UK. I'm not familiar with a lot of y'all, but some of the cast that some of my people's put me on to, uh, my man Bashy that I had to you know perform you know, perform with him uh, last time I came. My man Akala who who I'm gonna be performing with uh, this time. Um, shout out to my man Charlie Slow. Um, but uh, I I like you know gigs. Cause, okay. Cause he's he's on he's on the type of shit I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and he. He got a slow flow, and I'm from the That's south. South so. guy, it's just everything's <laughs> chopped. You got you know, like, yeah. I, I, I got, I got to hand it to my man. Okay, I see you, son. Okay. I see you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, how do you feel that UK hip hop has influenced like global hip hop? Because a lot of the guys from the era of like Skinny Man, Fallacy, Scheme, they never really got that international stage. Mm -hmm. Whereas now, I almost feel like Diddy's come over here. Right. Um, a Jay's lot of the guys, here. Jay, Lupe, yeah. a lot of the guys yeah. have come over, even like Black Eyed Peas on a pop level, right. have borrowed a lot of the energy. So how do you feel UK has influenced the scene? Um, I think the UK's influence for us is um, sometimes we look to the UK for the the, the next wave, okay. or for the cutting edge, yeah. so to speak. Um, when things get a little too monotonous and, and repetitive and, you know, American hip-hop, you know, sometimes you gotta look out into other uh, other countries and yeah. see what they're doing. Yeah. And I think for the for the time, you know, like Diddy and Jay and whatnot started, you know, really looking into this area to to start, you know, signing acts and do some grassroots things here. I think it was a time for hip hop to really start listening to some other forms of hip hop, like yeah. start tuning into, you know, other because <clears throat> I think what it was is for a time maybe Americans didn't feel like everybody else had a, a hold or a master on hip hop like we did. Mm. And now, after so long, it's like everybody has their own kind of hip hop. That's now. right, yeah, yeah. And so now it's like learning about those cultures and how they do hip hop and mm. their hip hop culture. And so for me, that's what it's about. Yeah. And when I travel the world, I uh, work with a hip hop artist right here out of Liverpool named Gia, AKA Nikki Blaze. Uh, we dropped the single Dose It. Um, there's a remix out there floating around the web with Odd Future, yeah, yeah. Gia, you know, Cactus, Odd Future remix, shouts to my man Earl Sweatshirt. I ain't gonna say nothing about that, but I just did. So, um, but yeah, you know, me and her actually, uh, we, we toured together. Yeah. Um, we're, we're gonna be touring this time. And we, we usually like run through Europe or we'll run through, uh, you know, America when she comes there. Mm. And we just, you know, go you know country to country so you know we last time we went we had a uh, the a summer in Paris tour uh, so we went okay. from Europe to Paris and whatnot that summer and this summer it's the UK uh, leg of today the world tour you got that mm -hmm. not tomorrow today the world you feel me so that's the tour I'm on right now 
and uh, I'm trying to actually just span the globe and 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 just be an artist of of hip hop, a hip hop artist, a true real artist about it. Um, you know, the music I make, I, I tend to try and create my art and then try to find the avenue to actually sell yeah, it. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. And instead yeah. of trying to actually make art that fits into an avenue yeah. that's sellable, because then I think you're just working a day job. I'm hearing that. I mean, just for people checking you out online, I mean, there's the, um, that's what's up situation you've got with um, yeah. the Mighty Casey as well. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, my, my, my weekly web show on, uh, you can catch it on theurbandaily.com comes out every Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more things as far as, you know, that crew. I got to say shout out to my man Kevin Powell, who's also on the show. Cool. The Kevin Powell, okay? The right original. It, the Kevin Powell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there's like a fight going on between the Kevin Powell. You know, there's, there's two Kevin Powells in Brooklyn. Okay. Oh, in New York. Yeah. And, and there's the a third Kevin one really pissed off right now. Like, <laughs> I'm not even getting mentioned here. <laughs> right. Which you one? Know? Which one you run? Um, I know I got my Kevin Powell. Okay, my Kevin Powell yeah. is, is on the show with me. Okay. The Kevin Powell. We had to say the Kevin Powell. <laughs> okay. Because the other Kevin Powell is. is okay, heated now. Yeah. My one used to rock and vibe. And then, that's him. That's, oh, that's the cool same then. one. We cool, we cool. See him saying? Them okay. Back, and and um, shout out to KP because he, yeah. you know, he just uh, ran for congressman. He's going to run again. So shout out to KP. Okay. Some, support Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, you know, the Kevin Powell is on the okay. show, as well as the Mighty Casey. Um, we also all all of us actually did a, another project called Monkey Gang. Okay. If you see the trailer, go to Monkey Gang. Dot net monkey gang g a n g dot net okay. it's a uh, hip hop parody of the state of hip hop so you can sort of um, you can sort of say it's the new C B four for the new millennium or as hip hop is now you know um, you can I've got to plug this guy mad funny I saw the <laughs> clip about hip hop breakups oh the first wow. fat boy breakup and bro yeah you know you what? where Casey go in yeah, like, yeah. Kate, me and Casey are, are ridiculous together yeah yeah really. <laughs> yeah, but uh, shouts to the whole, tr you know, the whole crew over there. Um, MG, um, go to monkeygang.net. Check out the trailer. The movie's coming soon. Okay. Starring a lot of people that you know and starring a lot of people that you will know uh, soon, very soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check me out, cactustree.com. C A K T U Z T R E E dot com. Now I don't know if they're gonna put it at the bottom of the screen right there, but if they do, there it is. At the top, just to spite you. There it is. Okay, right. Cactustree.com. Got it? The name. I've got to ask you because I can't do an interview yeah. and ask what's the deal with the cactus with the mad spelling and like you know, the name where they come from. It used to be, uh, my, whole, uh, my whole name used to be Cactus Tree. And now don't ask me, I was on some other shit, but. Damn, why should I call myself? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but the, the official name now is just Cactus. Okay. And. Whenever you think about a cactus, you think about a self-sufficient organism. Like if you're in a yeah. desert um, or a wasteland, if you want to look at you know hip hop or life sometimes in a metaphoric sense as like being a wet a wasteland. You know you're in this wasteland. A lot of people search um, for things in it. A lot of people just become fatigued. Um, some people don't even make it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so there's only few things in a wasteland or a desert that can survive. True that. Cacti are one of them. And also, if you go and you cut inside a cactus, you know, you can uh, replenish yourself to get back on your journey, son. Amen. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so, cactus is, you know, um, I'm a survivor. You know, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to survive the harshest conditions yeah. that you know of. I'm going to come out on top, son. So, <laughs> <laughs> mad, I'm, mad enemies I'm getting out of here alive, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but can I ask you about transplant, transplanting from like North Carolina mm -hmm. going to Brooklyn? That's the planet, that's like Jay Z, that's yeah. you know, yeah. big, that's mm -hmm. like you know, a lot of classic right. MCs come from there. So, yeah. what was it like bringing your, your style to an area that's just so known for a particular it, style of hip hop? It was a culture shock for yeah. them. I think uh, I got on. I used to get on stages with my guitar and, and, and just go into it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you know they were like, they were feeling it, but it was like they didn't know how to take it. Yeah. You know. And so I but think backing up in the room. Like, it's good. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's got guitars and banjos in here. It's just, I don't know. You know. So um, I think uh, moving to Brooklyn, it, it definitely gave me a sense of. I guess you could say a uh, competitive spirit yeah. with, with a lot of the other acts. And New York is a hard market to break. Yeah. Um, so in New York, you really have to be a, a, a really working, 
performing artist. You yeah. really have to seed yourself, you know, people in the artist community there and <clears throat> not just gonna accept you just because you put an album out. You know? Yeah. So it's it's really a hustle in New York. You really have to go at it hard. Um, and being there and taking that, that perspective with me uh, back home or even here in the UK, it just it just makes the hustle and it makes people respond to what you're doing a lot greater because they actually see did you serious about what you're doing and, and that you really go hard at it and when, mm. when people see that it inspires them um, so you know for, for me Brooklyn is definitely a part of, 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 of the music mm. I think it gives it that aggressive edge yeah. whereas in North Carolina you know a lot of stuff may be laid back and, and, yeah. and a good feeling uh, you know a good party it's a party, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Shout to walk. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it gave me that 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 grimy edge, you know, that New yeah. York grime into it. So I think that's what this album especially is called God's Porno. Don't be scared of the name. You know what I'm saying? Get the album. Whoa, see what that's whoa, whoa. about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God God's porno. God's porno. Okay, pause. You want me to, um, you want me okay, please, you want me to break, break, it break it down because already some people kinda looking uh, like yeah, they might yeah, be yeah. like logging off. You know, that's, 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 that's one life. thing, you know the cactus is off the edge with it sometimes. So please trust me. I am I'm gonna bring okay. you back to good grace. Break it down, God's porno. God's porno, alright. So let's just say that if we take um an example like the song Joan Osborne did called What If God Was One of Us. Yeah. If God was one of us, you think he would have a YouTube page, Facebook, Twitter, anything? Yeah, he'd have a lockdown, yeah. Right. So what do you think that God would be running up his Twitter and his wall, all the stuff that he already sees? Because you can't hide from God, right? Yeah. So in society, society has this God complex. They want to make you feel in uh they want to make you feel insecure by their superiority over you. Mm -hmm. Um, and they put you in the classes and systems and they put you in the genres and categories. For hip hop and for urban peoples, they put us in the lowest, you know, category that they can imagine. To 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 them we are porno. We are, you know, disgusting at times. We're misogynistic, okay. we're okay. sadists, we're you yeah. know, all of these things. Yeah. And it's it's not just okay, that artist is that, it's no, that's a hip hop artist. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's a whole of hip hop and we get stigmatized. Yeah. And so for society standards, uh, God sees everything, you know. And if God is seeing the good and the bad, then the bad must certainly be porno. Yeah. So that's God's porno. And the music I'm making, hip hop music, I guess that's God's porno. Okay, okay. <laughs> cool. Anyone come to the show and sees you live? What can they expect? Let them know so that when you're on your travels, these guys can look out for you, get the tickets, see what's good. My stage show is a circus, okay? Um, I, I'm high energy. I like to, to really get the fans involved. I love the energy of the room, of the moment. I'm, I'm a hip-hop head, so I remember Fresh Fest. I remember going to see Run DMC for the first time. I remember seeing the Beastie Boys perform mm -hmm. and the energy in coliseums and what it was like for a kid that age. So I want to give that back. I want that feeling when mm -hmm. I perform. So when you come to my show, ladies, this is a couple things. When you come to my show, ladies, I like high heels, okay? Um, Them wearing it, though, like, Brother, yeah, you know. Uh, Y'all can't. Just, okay, I don't even have to say no homo. <laughs> Please, believe it. I don't even have to say that, okay? Um, uh, fellas, get ready to make plenty noise. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to tear the room up. Ladies, fellas, we're going to tear the room up. You know what I mean? Tear the club up. Yeah, that people. <laughs> EverythingHipHop.com. We up in here. It's cooking dark and cold. You know, your family. I'm, yeah. I'm up in there. So we're going to hook you up with every single track up in my here. My man. Yeah, yeah. You get this happen, man. Bomb, bomb. We get some. Cool, we yeah. Go. We're going to go hook my man up, guys. Make Catch sure you support him on the tour. He's doing his thing, man. Right. God's porno is God's like, it's porno. crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm co-signing this. Got to co-sign it. My co church on Sunday, but I'll co-sign this. And get your Cactus Tree dope, rookie yeah. card. You can get these actually from my website, cactustree.com. You can get the album from the website. There's a lot more. I'm also got a, a comic book with Melvin Van Peoples up there. It's a lot of stuff. So people, please believe cactustree.com. Hit the website up. I'm gonna be in your city soon, UK. Okay, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna leave. Can yeah. I? Let me get you this shot. Yeah, I like just gonna put that in the of these songs. This is this is the 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 This is